last night on The Bachelor. Yes, you are verbally abusing me because that's what you were doing. You were attacking me. When you left the pool party, Maria was started attacking me in front of the group. Walking into a room and not knowing when she's going to attack me, she, like, verbally attacked me, and I just sat there. Hey, Internet, this man and his Doberman just attacked me and my Chihuahua. It's not a Doberman. It's, Ow! What are you doing? Oh, help! He just bit me! No, he, he just didn't. Bit me. Help! She's just lying on the ground now. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna leave. This is this is crazy. Doberman! Nope. Well, it's a two-episode week of The Bachelor, and with even more content on the way, including a new season of Love is Blind coming out tomorrow, we're going to be keeping things nice and concise in this video. After all, there's exciting news to get to. The group is going to be meeting Joey... In Malta. Ah! I'm so excited. I've never been to Europe. Malta's in Europe, right? Is Malta Europe? Malta's Europe? Okay, I thought so. So the gang is going to be headed to Malta, which definitely... Yes, definitely is in Europe. And this time, the one-on-one -on -one for the week is going to Mrs. Wright Lexi, who, surprise, surprise, just like most everyone on every Bachelor date, has something that she's holding back on and is nervous to tell Joey. I have been waiting to tell Joey a few things about my past that I plan to bring up to him tonight. I have this health condition that might make me not able to have my own children. So naturally, production sends in a priest to tell them this bit of info on what it takes to maintain a long and healthy marriage. And don't forget to bring four children, eh? Yeah. Yes. Because it's complete the marriage. Oh, yes. Boy, is that priest going to be embarrassed when he sits down with his glass of communion wine to watch his weekly episode of The Bachelor and sees that she might not be able to have kids. Meanwhile, back with the women, the group date card for the week has arrived. And as the names get called out, Maria and Sydney notice that neither of their names were called. Which means we've got a two-on-one on our hands. A special kind of date where two ladies enter, one woman leaves. Kinda like a WWE cage match, which is funny because the attacks there are just as fake as the attacks Sydney claims Maria assaults her with on a daily basis. I have never disrespected you. All I said is yes, you are verbally abusing me because that's what you were doing. You were okay. attacking me. This is torture and I have been literally put through the ringer enough. But back on the date, Joey's rocking the Bachelor classic salmon jacket and Lexi opens up about her illness. Essentially, after going under surgery, she was diagnosed with stage 5 endometriosis, a reproductive issue where tissue that is supposed to grow on your uterus ends up growing on other organs. Now the doctors were able to remove everything, but this also means she might not be able to have kids. I've only opened up about it to one person, who is my ex, and um, he ultimately came to the decision that he can't be with someone that might not be able to have his children. Joey, however, reassures her that hearing this does not make him want to run away, and that there are other ways to make a family, such as adoption. Plus, you never know with these things. It's possible anyone could be infertile and you only realize it when you're already married and trying. Ultimately, Lexi gets a rose, and we can now move on to the group date for the week at a very famous location. Doing this today where Ned Stark was beheaded is something that's crazy, but it's... it's yeah, well, sorry, I know, I'm not supposed to say that. If you haven't seen it, Ned Stark's head gets cut off. Alright, if you haven't seen Game of Thrones by now, you're... Well, you're better off not starting anyway. So, in this Game of Thrones style date, the ladies are going to be fighting for love by... staring at Joey... Okay... And then they have to... confront the sausage wheel, which was definitely one of my favorite parts of Game of Thrones. Juicy sausage is smacking your face right now. Just a little! 
I almost threw up. I had to like walk away. You know what, now that I think about it, there were a lot of sausages seen in Game of Thrones, so this tracks. Ultimately, Autumn here wins the date because she was actually able to bite a flying sausage, and apparently Joey is into that. Things then move on into the night portion of the date, where Kelsey T stands out after having a discussion on what they both need with their partners, something that earns her the group date rose. But the real focus of the show right now is actually what's stirring back at the hotel, as Sydney sits across from Maria and continues to say, Like, I'm getting tortured and she deserves to go home. Well then, time to whip out the prongs and needles because the torture is about to continue. These two are headed out for their two-on-one and Sydney is not looking forward to it. Spending a whole day with Maria is like spending the whole day with the devil. All right, am I going mad? I swear Maria's just sat there this whole episode, but Sydney's acting like every time she looks over, she sees... <laughs> Now Sydney says she's got a game plan heading into this two-on-one. I need to get this girl out of here. I do have a little bit of a game plan going into today. I swear, if her game plan is to just keep telling Joey that Maria's attacking her, then I'm going to scream. When you left the pool party, Maria was started attacking me. <laughs> So Sydney basically says that everyone in the house feels uncomfortable with Maria and that Maria told her BFF Leia to shut the F up. Maria, however, denies this and Joey is just confused. So he decides to throw everything out the window and just make a decision based on who he has a stronger connection with. Maria, however, is just getting frustrated. Shut the f up. I told Leia, yeah? You know we're on camera the yeah. entire time, right? Now, as things get to the night portion of this date, Joey's throwing his hands in the air. He knows he'll never truly get to the bottom of this, so he's just following his heart. And so he asks each lady if there's a potential future with him after all this drama, and when both say yes, he pulls out the rose. And Sydney, I'm sorry, but I cannot give you this rose. Thank you. Goodness. Sydney heads out the door. Maria yells, Bobby is free. And then they have this lady come in to sing Ave Maria while they edit in the other lady's reactions to Sydney's bag being pulled away. Oh, I just totally wasn't expecting that. And as you can see, Sydney's BFF Leia is absolutely shook. So much so that all through the next day and into the pre-rose ceremony cocktail party, she's getting more and more furious that people are just so casually going about their day without Sydney, especially Medina, who was supposed to be Sydney's friend. And so in this moment, production and Leia look at each other and say, We need to find a new villain. I have an idea. It's frustrating that one second she's, you know, Team Sid, and the second Maria walks in, she's voicing how she's so happy for her. Yeah. <laughs> They're all like being nice to Maria. Maybe that's because not everyone hates Maria like you think they do. So Leia decides that she needs to pull Medina and tell her that it's weird that she's being so kind to Maria when she was supposedly friends with Sydney. Maria knows that Sydney and I are close. I don't have to be mean to Maria because Sydney was my friend. That you, you know what upsets me the most about this? It's such a shame and a waste. Because now I'm pressed that Leia threw away that steal a one-on-one -on -one card in the name of doing the right thing when she was just going to end up being a villain anyway. I hold my myself, my friends, my, my close circle to a yeah. really high standard. I have a different set of morals and values. Yeah, and apparently those values are being mean to people where Medina actually worked past her differences with Maria. Ay, I am so done with this. And well, the villain crown has officially been passed on, because instead of doing what she did night one and throwing the drama in the fire, Leia has embraced it. Do you want to step out for a second? Okay. I'm gonna come with you. Okay. Maria storms off in tears and I want to say like, I'm glad that that's the case. Yeah, she's just, I don't know. Honestly, like, she's a drama queen crybaby. And so this episode ends on Leia not learning anything from what Sydney did as she goes with Joey to tell on Maria, probably by saying, Maria was started attacking me. So that's it for this recap of The Bachelor Week 4. Thanks for watching, and if you enjoyed the video, make sure to give it a like, 
Comment your thoughts down below and subscribe to the channel for more content. And until next time, Bachelor Fan Take out. She's just lying on the ground now. I don't know what to do. I'm just gonna leave. This is this is crazy. Doberman! Nope.